Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. This is really a new trend, and it's great that women can feel that empowerment, but it, is it always good for the relationship to take that upper hand in a traditional You know what? Guy? It depends. Now, if you're yeah. already involved in a non-traditional relationship where maybe you guys are that couple, you've been together for 10 years, mm -hmm. everything is co-owned, this is just something else to do, then right. it's fine. But if you've sort of you know, followed a traditional path when it comes to your relationship, you may not want to take his thing. Even if it takes a while, how do you convince him otherwise that it, it's time to decide? If you've been dating for 10 years right, right. and it's Peter Pan and he can't commit, <laughs> Do you just go ahead and uh, throw it out there just to see how serious? Well, what you do is you start having a discussion about it. And what I find a lot of times when people call into the radio show and in the seminars, they go, well, I really want to get married. I'm like, well, have you talked to him? They go, no. And I'm going, <laughs> well, it starts with a conversation. Right. right. Then it starts with an internal clock as well. Mm -hmm. You're in this relationship. You know how long or how much longer you're willing to stay in it right. until you get a ring. So have an internal clock. You don't need to let him know he only has one more year. But inside, you need to know that. But why are women feeling that they should or want to take this step? Well, unfortunately, sometimes it comes out of desperation. You know, I've hit a certain age. I want to have children. We need to do this now. Also, women, we're taking control in our careers, our education, purchasing our own homes. Why not ask? Mm -hmm. But we have to be careful because if we have a very traditional man in our lives, it can really be a turnoff. Not a turn on. So maybe the women have evolved, but the men Still, have not right, to that same right. level. Right, because oftentimes what I hear from men is that's our thing. You know, you right. get to plan the wedding. The wedding, in a lot of ways, is all about a woman. Right. Why not let me ask? Okay, so is it the big proposal moment when they do it? The event? Yes, a lot of women aren't just simply saying, you know, why don't we get married? They're doing the big thing that guys have traditionally done. You know, finding a great location. Do they buy a ring for themselves? Sometimes they buy the ring themselves. I know it's shocking. They buy the ring themselves, give yes. it to the guy to give to them? Right. Or they buy the guy the ring. And the guy actually sports the ring. Okay. I know. It's, Everything it's, is backwards. <laughs> I guess I'm more traditional than I thought. I hadn't heard about a lot but of this. But you know so. what? If you're already a person who thinks out of the box, Absolutely. if maybe you're considering giving him your name as a mm -hmm. woman instead of taking his, you guys just have a really open look when it comes right. to relationships. This works. But if it's a desperation move, it may not work okay. for you. So it all depends on the couple. Yes, definitely. And know you're intended. Yes. Or you're hopefully intended, or the person you're aiming for to be the intended. Exactly. And know what will work between the two of you. Okay. Definitely. All right, LaDon, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. And for more information on this, of course, you can head to our website at foxbaltimore.com slash morning.